Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Tyler McNabb. This over here is my 400DX and this is my YFZ 450R. So we are out here at round number three of the Extreme XC series. Just like round number two, we have a brand new piece of property and I'm pretty excited for this one because a lot of cool stuff at this one I've heard. So um, what they're saying is we have a creek jump we have what they're calling kind of like a creek bank step down and then there's either one or two pro hills i'm not sure but at least three sweet things at this track i'm very excited to go see and hopefully i'll remember to bring you guys along with me so we can uh, look at it for a little bit but uh, honestly i'm thinking conditions are going to be just about perfect it's been misting uh, most of the day um, and it rained a decent amount last night however it was um it was very it was pretty dry uh, beforehand so right now the dirt is very prime i mean that's 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 prime dirt right there so i'm very excited it's going to be a fresh track good dirt and hopefully there's supposed to be a little bit of rain tomorrow however i think it's supposed to maybe hold off till after our race i've got the mud stuff packed just in case um but hopefully i won't need it and so um, we've got the yfz prepped as you guys saw in the last video we got the mud guards on and we got our four works roost guard up front and then i also went ahead and picked up because a lot of people do this is let's see let me go up here i picked up some furnace filter material as you can see it's just just uh, thin enough to where you can kind of see through it a little bit but it still would stop all the mud and stuff so I may cut some of that up and try to slide it in front of the radiator if it ends up being pretty bad but I think it's gonna be uh, pretty darn good out there so we may just stick with the old radiator guards we'll see but anyway should be a good time and uh yeah we're gonna do some camping we're gonna do some racing this weekend and uh hopefully it should be good i'm gonna try to get some good highlights again for you big shout out to my dad for getting highlights at the last round hopefully he'll be down to get some highlights this round as well because i know you guys enjoyed them i think my the adult video got like a thousand views so big thanks for, to you guys for watching and uh with that we're gonna get into some racing so let's uh let's do it Okay guys, we're out here at the first creek jump. We got this thing here. Pretty good gap. Camera probably won't do it justice. It's, it's probably uh, to the front over there. It's probably a good 15 feet maybe or so, something like that. But not, not totally huge. Run up is decent, not huge, but it should be uh, definitely hittable. So, and the savings is pretty big too, because um, if you hit it, you go straight and then the track hangs a right. If you don't hit it, you gotta go all the way out there to the field section out there, run across the field real quick, come back in and go through there. So, uh, should be a good time savings and uh, yeah, should be pretty good. So, on to the next one. Okay guys, we're out here at the Pro Hill and so, pretty decent Pro Hill. Um, I don't think it's gonna be, it's definitely not the toughest Pro Hill, but it is going to still be a good hill. Cool thing is we have two lines actually. So we have this line over here and then this line over here. Track comes in from down here. You go through the woods, pop up right here, come through here. And so there's two lines. The line on the left is more direct and but it's a little it's quite a bit steeper, I would say. A little bit steeper and it slants a little bit to the right, not that exaggerated, but just to show you a little bit to the right. And then the track, once you go up to the top, hangs a right. And so this hill, or this um, line, you gotta come in and you gotta slow down, hang a right. And it's a little bit less direct, but I'd say it's a little, it looks to be an easier hill. It's not, I wouldn't say it's, it's not quite as steep and it's definitely not angled, but it is a little bit, of, a little bit tight at the top, so definitely your goods and your bads for both however i think my line of choice is probably going to be this one as long as it's open and then worst comes to worst hit this one like i said i don't think they're both definitely climbable not too bad 
but my choice is going to be the right line uh, once I get here. And then if you do take the go around, you gotta go up the hill over there, go out into a field out there, do a little bit of stuff, and then hang a right and come all the way up the ridge. So it's definitely gonna be a pretty decent time savings. So uh, that's what we got for Pro Hill this weekend. Uh, plan on hitting it, like I said, doesn't look too bad. And with the conditions being like they are, it should really be, it definitely, <clears throat> sorry, it's definitely not the hardest hill um, that I've ever hit before. So um, plan on hitting it. So we will, we've covered the creek jump. We got the Pro Hill now. Next thing is the creek um, bank jump. So we're gonna go see that. And here's a top view real quick. So here is the hill that I said I was going to hit. There's that. And then here's the top view for the other hill. As you can see, got a little bit of a slant to it, but overall not too bad. Let's go see the uh, creek bank jump. Okay guys, well we are at the third and final pro line and it is a creek bank drop is what it is. And so here it is. And so this may not look, but I mean I mean it's a pretty good drop. I'm I'm about five foot eight and I'm standing about pretty much on flat ground. So it's a good I'd say it's about a five foot drop. So it's a pretty it's a pretty pretty big drop and really in terms of time savings I don't think there's actually that much, maybe five, 10, 10 seconds at most, but it's gonna be a rough um, drop. And so I'm not sure if I'm gonna hit it or not. Um, I'm kind of leaning towards not, just because how big of a drop it is. Bikes, it probably won't be that bad, but quads on the other hand, let me pop up here on, the, on it. Ooh. So the track is coming from there and you kind of come into this tight stuff and then there's really no run up because there's the jump and so what you're going to have to do is just be in first gear kind of go to the left here and then turn back this way in first and just kind of blip the throttle and kind of jump off and so yeah i'm leaning more towards not hitting it just because um yeah, honestly, that's going to be hard on suspension and stuff and on my back and whatnot. And so the go around really is just right through there. The track goes right through here and then you converge right back out there on the creek bank or on the sandbar. So like I said, maybe 10 seconds max, but it's probably closer to five, six, seven seconds savings is all it is. And so in terms of uh, hurting myself or breaking something, probably not worth it so i'm going to probably steer clear of this one but we will be hitting the pro hill and the um creek jump so should be a good time uh yeah i'm not sure when i'm gonna catch up catch back up with you next maybe another cool part of the track or uh just maybe back in the pits later so see you then
so uh, I've been slacking a little bit. It's actually noon right now. Um, but I uh, didn't check in with you guys today, but I've been out getting highlights, all that fun stuff. The quads are gone, as you can see. YFZ is already up on the line. And unfortunately, we're having a little bit of an issue already. The 24 volt system is not firing like it should be once again. So clearly the problem isn't fixed. Not sure what's going on. Like I said, it's almost got to be the tune at this point, And it just depends on temperature because it's a little bit warmer than it was, I think, the other day when I rode it. So maybe that's it. I don't know. But anyway, youth are finishing up right now. So um, I'll probably check back in with you guys uh, right before the race starts. So it's looking like it's going to be a uh, pretty good day. Um, right now it's nice and sunny and then we're actually kicking up dust uh, down this straight. So wood should be prime, straight's a little dusty, start a little dusty, but other than that, should be pretty good. So I'll catch back up with you guys right before we head up there. Okay guys, well, we are all geared up, ready to go, looking beautiful, looking great in our nice fly racing gear. So it should be a good one. Like I said, weather is looking pretty darn good. So we are going to head up to the start line and I will see you guys out on the racetrack. <laughs>
Hey guys, well, I am back home and needless to say, I am wore out. So the good news is we made it the whole race. The bad news is, as you guys saw, the GoPro did not. So unfortunately on the first lap, um, I imagine I included the footage, but basically what happened is I came up to a big dip that I didn't see and I hit it so hard that I kind of, the front end dove in and it basically stopped me and when that happened this is like the pov of my helmet basically my chin went forward smacked the old flex bar pad and it snapped the gopro right off so unfortunately i only got like 10 minutes of race footage which really sucks because it was a really really good race and i think i would have had a lot of really good footage so uh, start from the beginning we had a decent start i was i was about mid pack off the line and by the time we went into the woods i was in third so sitting pretty good and then the other guy the guy leading my class he got the whole shot so he went out and on the first lap there i took a turn i didn't take the sharp turn sharp enough and i kind of clipped a tree so i had to get off back up and get going again so i lost a little bit of pack there and so I got going again. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, got going again and was running pretty good. And then we had the GoPro incident and uh, came up to, unfortunately, I didn't get any footage of the Pro Hill or the Creek Jump because the GoPro fell off. My dad did get um, some footage of both, though, from a third person view. So uh, we'll be looking forward to those highlights. Um, so I uh, was going pretty good, hit the Pro Hill every lap. Um, I actually ended up taking the left line. Um, <clears throat> sorry, I'm still dealing with my uh, head cold thing going on, and uh, the race didn't really help. So, um, we uh, I took the left line every every lap is what I ended up taking because the right line was it seemed like every lap I people ended up being stuck in it. So ended up taking the left line, cruised right up it, not an issue. Hit the creek jump, not a big deal um as well so that was uh pretty good um and then uh charlie andrews is the one who um got the whole shot in my class and we battled back and forth the whole entire race until the last two laps so i did eight laps total and so six of those laps uh, basically six and a half we were nose to tail a good portion of the race uh, sometimes he would pull out on me a little bit and then i would uh, catch back up to him but it was so much fun to have having someone to battle with and i couldn't remember the last time that i've battled with someone like the whole entire race and so it was really awesome uh to battle with him big shout out to him he ended up pulling off the win and so we were going back and forth non-stop <clears throat> and uh, a lot of fun and then it would have been on the se seventh lap is what it would have been since i did eight i was i had kind of dropped back off of him and i was catching back up i saw him he was right in front of me and i smoked a tree and so when i did that i kind of went forward it kind of knocked the air out of me i had to kind of sit for a second to get my wind back and uh kind of just get my bearings because i i hit i hit it pretty hard and so um, after that, I kind of got back going and I just kind of lost my mojo at that point. And so I kind of cruised in, uh, for a solid second place. So we were able to bring home some hardware. And the cool thing is I forgot to tell you guys, I was on the plaque this weekend. So I was really hoping to be getting a plaque as you can see here on the old 400. So super excited for that i got an event shirt as well it's got my picture on it and then of course we brought home some hardware so overall i can't complain uh great weekend of racing it was all i had and that's why i am so worn out that's probably one of the hardest i that's the hardest i've raced in a long time and so ended up being track ended up being pretty good um but uh, we ended up doing uh, eight laps, and so it was just by the probably by lap five or six, I was almost done with it because it was just it was a lot of laps since it was a little bit of shorter track. But anyway, the YFZ performed exactly how it should have. If we look down in here, I don't know if you guys will be able to see it, but our radiator is pretty darn clean. We didn't have any issue with overheating or anything like that, so that's really good. 
but one light did come on during the race and that was the low fuel light so i figured out that this thing when i'm riding like that um, i'm gonna have to start fueling up it seems like so i was pretty low on fuel the low fuel light came on i haven't checked the tank yet but if the low fuel light comes on that's probably pretty low so um yeah, I may need to start refueling, especially on the two-hour races. Uh, maybe the last couple laps, just get a little bit of splash of fuel just to make sure I don't run out or anything. But other than that, YFZ performed exactly as it should have. Uh, I don't see, like, any oil or anything on the engine. It ran like a dream. And, uh, yeah, did everything it was supposed to. So, super excited. Great race weekend. It was a lot of fun. And I'm already looking forward to the next one. So uh, big thanks to you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. And so um, if I saw you at the race week, race this weekend, it was good talking to you. If I didn't, I appreciate you guys coming and watching the videos. Like I said, it wouldn't be possible without you guys coming in and watching these videos um, for me to be doing what I love to do. And so... <clears throat> Yeah, big thanks, and uh, I'll just go ahead and end it out because I'm so tired that I can't think of anything else to say. So, big thanks to you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it, and I will see you in the next one.